imagine that you want to have the same uh, solution as before, so this custom copilot, but you want to have uh, a custom channel other than Microsoft Teams. So I will uh, simply play with this solution because I don't need to keep it uh, uh, clean, so I will work on it and change its uh, uh, settings and behavior. When you create a, a custom copilot with Copilot Studio, you can go under the settings section, section and you can go under security. Security, there is the authentication uh, uh, section. And here you can see the default uh, setting is authenticate with Microsoft. And this one will work in Teams and Power Up by default. Again, as I said, if you want to do something else, you need to go for the manual authentication, for the custom authentication, which implies that you will have to create and to register in a uh, Entra ID tenant, a custom application, okay? So let's do that uh, step by step uh, uh, all together. So first of all, you get the redirect URL that you should use for authentication in your custom application. So let's copy this URL, perfect. Now, let me go to Azure and let me go to Entra ID. In Entra ID, we can go under app registrations and we can create a new app registration, which for the sake of simplicity can be ESPC HR Copilot. I usually call it read or reader because I want to stress the information that this specific application is the one which will be allowed to read the content that we have in SharePoint Online and which will be used by the Copilot with this specific name. So let me use this name. It can be single tenant right now because we don't need multi-tenant. Let me register it. Now, first thing first, I need to go under authentication and I need to configure a platform, which will be a web platform. And I have to provide the URL that I copied before. So the redirect URL uh, provided to me by uh, Copilot Studio. Then I want to get these kind of tokens back when I will do the authentication. And as such, my application will be configured uh, to uh, be used uh, through a web UI with this redirect URL. Plus, I will need to copy the uh, application, oops, client ID, so this value. And for the sake of simplicity, let me, oops, sorry, let me copy it on a notepad file so that we can uh, keep it in a, a place where I can reuse it. And then under certificates and secrets, I want to create a client secret for this application. I will get rid of this application right after the recording of this uh, uh, webinar. So uh, I don't mind even if you will see the value of the secret. And it will be a secret which will last just for three months because that's enough. Actually, it will last just a few minutes after this, <laughs> this webinar. So let me copy the value of the secret and let me paste it again in a temporary uh, notepad file. So once I've done that, I can switch to the API permission uh, section. In this section, I need to specify the permissions that I want to grant to my uh, custom application in order to make it uh, possible to read the content that I have in uh, SharePoint Online as well as I want to make it possible for the application to do the authentication of the user. So let me go for Microsoft Graph and let me go for the delegated permissions, which is a really important choice. Delegated means, as I will stress it again later, that we are going to use the permissions of the user intersected with the permission of the app. So I want to have support for authentication, but I also want to have support for reading the content that I have in SharePoint Online. So sites.read, and I want to get the permission sites.read.all. And I also want to get the files.read.all permission. So let me add these four permissions to my application and let me grant it as an admin so that the application will be fully granted this right, okay? So now that I've done that, I can go back to Copilot Studio and I can say that I want to use 
Azure Active Directory v2, which actually should be enter ID, but doesn't matter. It is enter ID, okay? I need to specify the client ID and the client secret. Uh, keep into account that it will always uh, provide you with the previous settings you used uh, in uh, if you already configured another custom copilot. So be careful uh, to choose uh, wisely and, and properly the ID and the secret you want to use. I'm going to use the one of the application that I just created, and I'm going to use the secret that I just copied before. Then I can specify the uh, permission scopes that I want to use. Together with profile and open ID, I want to have the permission for sites.read.all, so sites.read.all, and files.read.all, okay? I can save. I will save and now my copilot will have custom authentication and I can publish it again, okay? So let me close this one and let me publish it again, okay? Now, as you can already see in the upper right, uh, sorry, lower right corner of my screen, we have to continue, please log in, and I have to press a login button. Why? Because now I have configured the authentication as manual authentication. There will not be any more a single sign-on experience in Teams. And I have to uh, actually do the uh, manual authentication, the manual login. So if I click on the login button, this is a quite uh, uh, weird UI. You are brought to a different tab where you can copy this unique code. Uh, behind the scenes, there is the bot framework of Microsoft. I can come back and paste this uh, unique uh, code here and by pasting this unique code I will get the authentication in place and now I'm back to an authenticated users and again I can prompt the system like uh, uh, what are the uh, lay of procedures of our company and we should still get back the answer based on the content that we have in SharePoint Online. Working on it. And here we are, okay? So we still have authentication, but now it's an explicit authentication and login session for the user.